How did practice go today? Uh, practice was good. You know, guys getting after each other. A lot of it's only been three days, which for us, you put in a lot of different concepts and things like that, trying to see how much guys can retain and also put into the play. And our guys have done a great job of really doing their best to implement it before we get out to Vegas. And although it's a lot being thrown at them, they've done a great job of just sticking together, going through the process. What's the plan for Bilal? As best we can, we're going to try to put Bilal in a lot of different situations. You know, since he's been here, he's been great on the floor, asks questions, does everything with patience. You can see why he was drafted. You know, he's going to give us great length and a lot of versatility on offense to handle the ball, come off of DHOs, things like that. But defensively, we're going to challenge him. He's going to be able to get after some of the best guys, and we're going to see what he can do. Same thing with Johnny, but obviously second year. What are you kind of looking at him? What, what steps has he taken since last year, and what are you expecting from him this year? With Johnny, I mean, I had the privilege of being with him all year in the go-go a lot. And with him, his confidence grew game by game, and we all saw that, especially at the tour at the end of the Wizards season. For now, going into the summer, just want to continue that. Continue that same confidence, attacking the basket, continue with his defense, of course, being the main thing. Like for him, he knows defensively that's how he's going to get on the floor. So we want to make sure he's staying locked in with that. But confidence offensively to show he can do what he can do. Bilal and uh, Tristan were both in a kind of unusual situation where they were playing in the playoffs until like not long ago. Um, because of that, do you, would there be any restrictions with them at all? So right now, I haven't been told anything from the medical staff or things like that. So it'll be great to get them out there playing five on five against other teams other than ourselves and just look forward to seeing what they look like. Coach, first off, congratulations. Appreciate it. Uh, before we talk about questions, how does it feel to get that title of a head coach for some of you? It's a great opportunity for me. You know, even standing here with a couple guys that have been here with me for the last seven, eight years, you know, this has just been something I'm truly excited about, and I'm grateful for the opportunity they've given me to do this, and just excited. You know, I get to learn through mistakes and successes, and just going to take that day by day. And as much as we say, this is a development process for the team as a whole, but it's also one for me and our coaching staff, mm -hmm. being put into different situations that you're not normally in. So I relish this. You, said, you talked about the go-go. You have Jules, you have Q, Johnny. As a, as a coach, for familiarity, how does that feel knowing you have you know guys that you kind of been in the foxhole with before? You know, it's great. I've had, luckily for me, I've actually gotten to be with the Wizards a lot too. And of course, knowing them, having some familiarity with all these guys makes this a little bit easier. But, you know, it's about all the guys in Summer League, trying to make sure they all get to the potential, helping them get to whatever their careers want to go to. And then we also, another one of the go go values was, you know, make lemonade, go hard. What are some of the intangibles you're looking for as you embark in this uh, summer? For us, it's competing. Like, that is the main thing. We want to go out there and compete to the best of our ability, regardless of what the score is. And for us, we want to make sure we also communicate, especially with having such a young team, a lot of guys that are new. Communication is going to be key for us. We've got to be able to communicate together offensively and defensively. That way we can have the best possible team we can put out there in Vegas. And that last one, you have a couple of international guys. Can you just talk about the, the game style and how, what do you like from them so far? It's just in their ability to try to pick things up. You know, you get to talk to Tristan and Bilal. There's some similarities, but there are also some differences. You know, they're doing their best to try to talk through different things and understand the, the lingo, things like that. So having that conversation with Tristan and Bilal, it helps them out a lot. But for me, they really don't see a lot of differences. Basketball is basketball. And that's what you want to hear with these young guys, having no type of thing, just go out there, not thinking, just playing the game. How you feeling? You getting ready for summer league? How's everything working out so far? Uh, we we working on our game, uh, playing uh, with each other, playing hard, uh, and yeah, we we just uh, learning the plays and everything. So now we good, yeah. All right, so we know that summer league is going to bring a lot of extra eyes, a lot of expectations from other people. What about yourself? What are you expecting from you? Uh, I expect to play more with the ball, and that's what the coach told me. So I'm gonna play more with the ball, uh, create some actions, you know, playing the king and everything. So yeah, I'm just looking forward to play with the ball though. Um, Coach Tatum said he'll probably have you guard the best player on mm -hmm. some of these teams. What, what do you think about that opportunity? I'm ready. <laughs> I know my strength is uh, defensively first, so yeah, I'm ready to guard uh, every player. Yeah. Have you gotten any advice from anybody else on what to expect in summer league? Uh, yeah, just uh, yeah, we talked a lot with the team, and uh, we say that you know summer league is kind of selfish, so we we trying to play as a team, uh, move the ball well, play hard, uh, good defense, and everything. So yeah. Bonjour, Bonjour. Uh, I kind of asked you at the introductory, but the excitement from the Wizards fans has been off the charts. Just how do you kind of feed up that excitement going to your first summer league? Yeah, yeah. I, I, um, I received a lot of messages and everything about the summer league and the, the regular season uh, by some fans telling me that, yeah, we're waiting on you and everything. So, yeah, I'm ready to play uh, as hard as, as possible, like I say, on both fronts on the, on the floors. And, uh, yeah.
It's just been as honest as possible. Then for young guys, one thing is film. How much like film do you watch and how much have you been able to critique yourself and say, oh, I like what I did there? Mm, yeah, we're watching uh, like team, team films and uh, individual, film, individual films. And uh, yeah, that's a. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really like focused on my films, like individual, because uh, I know what I can do great, but I don't, I don't really know uh, what are my, my uh, weaknesses and everything. So yeah, we're working on that. We, we're watching films and uh, that's important, yeah, yeah. Um, how's it been working with Johnny Davis? Yeah, it's uh, good. Uh, you know, he, he knows a lot about the game uh, yeah, during that last year. So yeah, he's helping each other, uh, talking a lot about the game defensively, offensively, and uh, yeah, just, uh, you know, the principles in the gym and everything, because he's used to it. And uh, yeah, he's a okay. great guy. Like Davis year two summer league, uh, biggest difference between last year versus this year's prep and everything. Uh, I'd probably say just being a little more comfortable um, and knowing the stuff like offense, defensive uh, strategies, techniques, plays. So I'd say going in, I just think I'm way more prepared. Now, obviously, you were a defensive minded guy, but points is what it's all about. Offensively, what steps have you uh, grown and matured over the past year? Uh, definitely outside shooting. Uh, you know, whether that's shooting off the dribble, uh, catch and shoot, wide open three, you just got to be able to knock those down at a consistent clip. And also just being more of a ball handler too, playmaker. Uh, I played off the ball a lot last year. And, you know, if my number is called on to, you know, uh, be on ball more, I got to be ready for that. You said at the end of last season you wanted to get stronger and add some weight. How's that process been for you? Uh, I think I've put on maybe like five pounds. So, you know, I'm going in the right direction. But now nah, we've been in the weight room probably the past month, uh, two months, just you know, in there working out, uh, just trying to better ourselves, get more mobile, stronger. So I would say it's definitely paying off a little bit. What are your first impressions of Bilal? Uh, you can't really go by him. <laughs> <laughs> nah, uh, he's a he's a really great defender. Uh, you know, he's he's out there. Uh, he looks pretty comfortable right away to me. You know, he doesn't look timid at all. He looks confident in himself. So that's what you want to see out of a player like him. Have you given any advice to Bilal or Tristan or any of the guys that this is their first summer league? Uh, not too much advice. I mean, you know, when you really think about it, it's just going in there and playing. You know, uh, when you go out there and play hard and compete, you know, whatever happens, happens. But, um, you know, whenever they ask me questions or, you know, uh, they need some advice, I'm always there to give it to them. So, so how are you doing, John? Good. What's up, Wayne? So good. Um, you talked about adding weight, but what did you add to your game this summer that you've seen in maybe this first couple weeks of the practice? Shooting. Just, you know, being more confident in my shot, uh, getting it off quicker, you know, having my feet squared before I catch the ball. But um, I definitely need to work on my hand a little bit more. But uh, I think the shooting is going pretty well. You know, that's something I've been focusing on a lot. And as you come into year two, have, have you seen the game slow down for you? A lot, yes, definitely. Um, I'm looking at these rookies, and it's looking a little fast on them right now, but I know eventually they're going to catch on because I was looking at myself last year in their shoes, and. I know everything was just spinning, you know, everything was going really fast, but now I feel like it slowed down a lot. <laughs> Welcome to DC. How has it you, been getting you. acclimated with the Wizards so far? You know, it's been amazing, you know. Um, I love it here, you know, the organization is great, you know, the people, the staff, they're great people, and you know, they make me want to come every day and work as hard as possible and, you know, just, you know, have my position in, for the Summer League team. All right, looking at Summer League, what's your philosophy for yourself and how you're going to grow your game and, and get better? No, I'm from Europe, so I think people haven't seen, haven't really seen my game, so I just want to show the world what I can do and uh, obviously help my team look better and obviously win summer league, you know, be champions, why not? So it's a great opportunity. Oh, sorry. What was draft night like for you? Because I understand you got drafted and won a championship. <laughs> yes, it was crazy. So we won out of the championship and everything. So draft night was a couple of hours later. So we all just stayed up, you know, we were celebrating, you know, having a good time. And then, you know, I was just waiting for my name to get called. And, you know, my agent called me, you know, we all celebrated and Stayed up a little bit more, celebrated the draft, so it was a pretty long night, I'm not gonna lie. What time was it when you got the call from Will Dawkins? I think around 5.30 a.m. Oh, wow. Six. Yeah. Man. First up, how you doing? All good, thank um, you. For Wizards fans, can you just pronounce your name so we can make sure we're saying it correctly? Tristan Vukcevic. Tristan? Tristan. Tristan, okay. That's, a, that's like a Serbian way, but okay. in English it's Tristan Vukcevic. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, for, for Wizards fans that's not familiar with your game, I know you are your own individual person, but who could you kind of give them a uh, a shadow of who you maybe yeah, the game? Maybe uh, Przingis, a little bit of Przingis, Nowitzki, okay. a little bit of, let's say, Nikola Mirotic, he used to be in the league, now he's over in Europe. So mm -hmm. I'll say, yeah, those two guys are pretty much similar, I can say. And at, as you adjusted to coming overseas here, yeah. like, what has been somebody that's been helping you and maybe give you that confidence and guidance of, you know, just doing it over here? 
I mean, everyone, everyone's been calling me, you know, uh, let's say Mar Mark Gasol, he called me yesterday, he gave me some advice. Um, and just everyone also in the team, JB, you know, he played with my father, so he's been giving me advice, Johnny Rogers. You know, but like I said, the organization is great, so everybody's just been trying to help me adapt. It's a big, you know, difference, Europe and America, the like the lifestyle, the play style and everything. So they've been doing a great job, I believe, to make me feel like more comfortable around here. Just two quick ones for you. What, what was it that Troy's and had going double zero? To be honest with you, there's not a lot, not a lot of numbers available. Uh, I went at or one, eleven. Okay. Those not available. Zero below took it, so I just said, you know, I'll just take double zero. It's pretty much only one available. Uh, the last one available was like twenty five or something like that. I didn't really. Okay. Let's just sue me. Double zero. Double zero. But looks nice though, right? Thank you. Thank you.